Yeah, <clears throat> my name is Ralf Neb. Um, I'm the CTO of Game Duel, and I would like to talk about um, real-time, near-time analysis uh, with iTube and uh, VoltDB. Um, it's a presentation, um, yeah, qu quite an overview presentation, um, how we solved it. Um, it's not too technical. Um, we made the decision to get more uh, onto the overview information and more into the direction uh, how our approaches are evolving. So, first of all, what is Game Duel? Game Duel is a um, company located in Berlin. Uh, we are doing games, uh, in casual games. We are doing real cross-platform, means we are available on our own platform. We are available on Facebook with our social games, and we are available on our mobile platforms, mainly on Android and iOS. But um, we are as uh, buzzwords, and so we should talk about technology, right? First of all, um, I would explain uh, the need we have. It was uh, articulated uh, from our business um, development and mainly four different requirements. Was the first requirement, analyze all our uh, events in, uh, on every platform. Means um, we have to analyze our core platform, we have to analyze our social platform, new friend, whatever, all the things like that, uh, and we have to analyze our mobile events. So making analysis afterwards to calculate the value of a user, to calculate um, what to show, and um, the next um, requirement was mainly to simplify the kind of operations because we do not want to build up several queues. For example, uh, the most important queue and the more important queue and the unimportant queue because uh, it's a mess in operation. So every event uh, should be handled like the most prior event. And that's the reason why we have a lot of different um, abstraction layers um, to handle. It means an alert thrown by a system, for example, disk full, um, front end uh, failed, whatever. Um, also, a click on our website mean, means you start a game. Um, and a conversion means getting from a, a from beginner uh, backend uh, in the backend, and um, yeah, payment is also such an event. Um, next uh, requirement was decide in real time. So it was very very important that every decision the system has to take is done in less than 150 milliseconds, because only the, only in such a time period you are able to query the rule engine in the time during the request. Where you will use something like that, A-B testing, um, optimized flows, for example, um, Amazon will um, uh, suggest a new game to you, for example. And last but not least, that's, uh, that's the reason why we are at Buzzword. Uh, scalability is crucial because um, we think that um, a successful real-time engine will multiply our events um, on factor 10, 100, 150, like that. Um, so we have to take care that we are able to handle a lot of more load. So, we talked about uh, decisions. Decisions are mainly done on our platform in three different ways. 
means um, a decision is something like, um, is a user in a split test group and is it able to see a different feature? It's also necessary to analyze the events of the different uh, feature showed to the user at the end. So here you see why we have to take care of a lot of events. Global context, why it's a global context? Um, every decision is uh, the same on mobile, on social, and on our own platform. So that's not so common in the industry right now. There are many solutions like that for one platform, but not for uh, the whole cross-platform experience. A rule is interpreted every time with different facts. So a fact is a result computed in our uh, Hadoop environment. Um, for the first time, it's computed uh, once per month, which is not very sophisticated. Okay, you can do it once per week, but it's also not very sophisticated. And that's the reason why uh, we tried to, to do a near-time, real-time means um, we want to achieve uh, facts in a recent time frame, which is not older than five minutes. So the initial requirements, um, I will not repeat the whole stuff, why we should use Hadoop. I would expect that every one of you uh, is aware uh, of, um, yeah, uh, of the advantages of Hadoop. So we did uh, the iteration zero, which means um, our uh, basic approach was not done very sophisticated, it was just a solution because we think it's very important to make it up and running uh, very, very fast and to break things early. So our app servers send out the events via syslog into one box and the syslog was the aggregation filter to write down all the events uh, into one file. We have different problems, but learnings um, coming on another slide. Um, the event log was then moved into uh, the Hadoop cluster and uh, imported into the HTFS. After the import, the MapReduce job starts um, read the whole data, map it, reduce it, store it back into the HTFS. After that, our initial query was done and um, we, we did it for the first time to ask the HTFS directly. Yes, I know on the HDFS side, uh, it's mentioned uh, explicitly, HDFS is done for block, um, co uh, for, uh, yeah, for block files and for block um, processing and not optimized for latency, but yeah, it was a try. And as, we, uh, as I said before, uh, we will come to the learnings on the next slide. So just a plain Hadoop setup. Uh, nothing new, and at its uh, that, it's also not scaling. So nothing won so far. What was our learning? Our learning was UTP is for sure not reliable. You do not know anything if events are uh, lost, you, you do not uh, get an error message, whatever. And the random I.O. caused by uh, the syslog is also very, very hard uh, to handle. Sure, it's also not made for this. So we have um, to address 
two different points. We need more reliability and we need to cushion our I, uh, random I.O. That was the reason why we decided to <coughs> use VoltDB instead of SysLogD. Um, VoltDB is a very clean and small implementation of uh, in-memory database. And um, yeah, it's just one implementation. You can also use uh, alternatives uh, to uh, such a, uh, for such an in-memory database. So HANA from SAP is one alternative and the other one is from Oracle times 10. Depends on your budget and whether you believe in Oracle or not. So means we slightly modified our procedure. Right now, uh, all events are written into uh, the VoltDB, um, a little important job in the Hadoop cluster was able to get all the data from the VoltDB, import it into the HTFS, run the MapReduce job, everything's fine so far, okay. After that, recite stored in HTFS and in VoltDB because so it was possible to ask the VoltDB for future queries and to get the new facts. Uh, recalculated every five minutes or every 100,000 events, whatever comes first. It's just a configuration. So we solved our random I.O. and latency problem, but we did not uh, solve our um, problems with our sequential I.O. The sequential I.O. was still very high because uh, we have to put in 100,000 events every time uh, when, when the um, idempotent job runs. So the overall sequential I.O. was too high to scale out. So let's have a look on the next thing was um, very simple idea we had um, in the past with the VoltDB in the front end, we can also do the same trick in the back end too. Means we do not have to import our raw data directly into the HTFS. We can also use it directly from our MapReduce job. And the MapReduce uh, job will then only store the result directly into the Hadoop cluster and so into the HTFS. So a lot of I.O. is saved. Um, we reduced our um, load of, and uh, I.O. up to 80% for the sequential I.O. Uh, we got rid of the complete random I.O. And um, also a nice thing, um, we are able to hide um, the whole Hadoop cluster behind the VoltDB infrastructure. So it's not longer um, it, it's not longer needed to know how the data is processed. So we can change it to different implementations. We can use uh, other approaches too and uh, make the operations and the handling of the architecture uh, more easy. So that's the reason why <coughs> we think in memory DBs uh, is an appropriate way um, to getting back into the driver seat uh, means a lot of data is analyzed um, right now on different large data sets and I always always the bottleneck for sure in memory DB will not be the silver bullet and will not be the answer to all questions we have. But in our case, it solved a lot of our infrastructure problems uh, in a very easy and very convenient way. So uh, to summarize, we reduced our sequential I.O. up to 80%. Um, we got rid of the whole uh, random I.O. 
and we achieved a guaranteed response time less than 150 milliseconds for a, a yeah I would say a semi a near time a real time approach with our facts and we are able to recalculating our facts every five minutes or every 100,000 events, which is a very good um, a number in direct comparison to other competitors. And last but not least, we delivered our promise uh, to scale out the infrastructure completely horizontal. So we are able to put in a lot of more VoltDBs, we are able to put in a lot of more workers for our Hadoop infrastructure and that's the reason why we think uh, it's a valid approach and um, we are looking forward um, to the Hadoop project and um, maybe it's also possible to implement a direct way to address uh, in memory DBs instead of HTFS only. So, I hope um, you enjoyed the talk um, so far. And um, it's a very short talk, and was uh, yeah, the main purpose was just to give an idea how to solve uh, such a problem uh, in a very easy way and yeah no thank you other questions any questions So I, I have made one question. Um, what kind of analysis jobs can you can you run on your VoltDB instances, and, and what do you do in Hadoop? Okay, um, so VoltDB instance itself, it's just um, a way to cache our events. It will just store all the events coming into it, order it, and set it. And the MapReduce job will directly address uh, will directly get the data from the uh, VoltDB. It's uh, ordered, it's classified very roughly, and so you just can uh, calculate it and put the um, result into the HDFS. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's thank the speaker again.